In today's video, I'll be ranking my top 5 from the releases of the first two weeks of July. So stick around! What's up YouTube? This is Manuel and welcome to another video of Lifestyles and Sneakers. As I mentioned earlier, I'll be ranking my top 5 from the releases for the first 2 weeks of July. But before that, let me give you some quote of wisdom. Our quote this week is, Your life is a story. Write it well, edit often. So what does it mean guys? Basically, it's up to you what you want your story to be. I believe in destiny, however, you must work for it. It's not gonna just come to you just like that. You have to work hard for it and you have to make it happen. What happens in your life is basically made by you. So at the end of the day, you still have a control on it. There are some days that luck is not in your side, but it's up to you what you want to do with it. It's either you accept it or you do something about it. So that's it for our quote of wisdom. So let's move back to my top five. I had a hard time picking my top five because there's quite a few sneakers that I really like. However, I still uh, managed to pick my top five and here it is. At number five, I picked the Air Jordan 5 Inspire. The inspiration of these sneakers came from the Fab Five of the Michigan State University where Chris Webber, Jalen Rose, and Joan Howard was part of it. I like the colorway of this, uh, yellow. I'm not really a fan of yellow in sneakers. However, for this one, I kind of like it because you, it gives you a similar look as the Tokyo Fives which is actually really, really rare. At number four, we have a new silhouette from Nike. It's called the Nike Signal. Actually, the name of this sneaker is quite long. It's Nike Signal DMS X. N110. I like how they constructed these sneakers and I like new silhouettes and uh, I think this is very different from the others so that's why this is my pick for my number four. My pick at number three is an old silhouette. This is the Air Jordan 11 Low IE. And this time, they're releasing a Space Jam colorway. Well, who doesn't like Space Jam? I think this is one of the best uh, Air Jordan 11 IE colorway that they ever released. I like how it looked. I hope they're gonna be releasing it in Asia because from what I see, only going to be released in the US but definitely if I have a chance to cop this one I will definitely get it my top five will not be complete if I don't have a Yeezy on it so definitely my number two is the Adidas CC Boost 350 V2 Landmark in non-reflective and reflective version. These sneakers are actually part of the regional release, uh, but I'm not sure why it was delayed. It's supposed to go with the Synth and the Antlia, but these sneakers was actually delayed by three weeks. So probably they had problems with the production. However, yeah, this July, they're releasing these sneakers. I picked both of them because it's the same silhouette. The only difference is one is reflective and the other one is non-reflective. But definitely these sneakers are quite nice. 
this is definitely a good sneakers, a good Yeezy, especially if you haven't had any Yeezys yet. So if you have a chance to get this on retail, please go ahead and get this. Now for my number one, what do you think it is? Honestly, I never thought I'm gonna pick a basketball shoe for my number one because I haven't been playing basketball lately. However, definitely these sneakers is gonna be my number one because I've tried it, I've tested it, I have it and have both of them. This is the Nike Air Freak 1 in black and all bros colorway. This might be one of the best basketball sneakers that uh, Nike ever released. I've been a fan of basketball sneakers from Nike ever since. I've tried a lot of basketball sneakers from Nike. However, this one definitely is one of the best. I mean, in terms of aesthetics, the design, a lot of people doesn't like the reverse uh, swoosh. This in the sneakers, however, for me, I like how they incorporated the swoosh on the midsole. The design is actually loud at the same time simple. You know, I don't know how how to explain that, but like what I said, I mean, the design is just plain like a Kobe sneakers, but then there's a big loud the swoosh on the midsole. Apart from that, the technology is really, really great. It has a double stack zoom unit on the heel. And when I tried it, man, this is the first time I, I wore a sneakers with zoom that I felt how soft the zoom is. So definitely this is a uh, must cop sneakers. And for me, it's definitely deserving to be number one on my top five for the releases of the first two weeks of July. So guys, do you agree with my top five? Let me know down below if you agree with me or not. And if you have your own top five, share it there and we can discuss. Now for our trivia this week, when was Nike founded? Nike was originally founded in January 25, 1964. by Bill Bowerman and Phil Knight. The original name of the company was Blue Ribbon Sports. But in May 30 of 1971, it was named Nike Inc. Additional trivia for those who doesn't know, Nike means goddess of victory. And honestly, I think in the shoe game or sneaker game, Nike is really victorious. I hope you like the trivia and we'll try to do this weekly every Monday. Before we end the video, I just want to remind you that we have actually two ongoing giveaways. Now, the first giveaway is our Lifestyles and Sneakers t-shirt, which actually should have passed already last week, but we're extending it. So all you need to do is share the video of the Yeezy Quantum that we did last week and also the Adidas Originals visit. So you have to share both of those uh, videos on your social media. You have to tag us and uh, write hashtag lifestyles and sneakers. And of course, you have to watch that video and you must comment on the comment section, hashtag lifestyles and sneakers and your IG handle. Currently, we only have few participants. So guys, please make sure you follow the mechanics carefully. I'll be posting the mechanics down below in the description box. So make sure that you go through with it. I'll be announcing the lucky subscriber that will take the Lifestyles and Sneakers t-shirt on our next live stream this Sunday. And for our second giveaway, which is the Air Jordan 1 Defined Couture, we have actually re-released the video, which you can find on our channel. All, basically, all we need to do is make sure that that video reached 10,000 watch minutes, which is very, very easy. And of course, you must share that video and the Yeezy Boost 700 V1 Utility Black video. Then you must watch both videos, like both. You also need to comment hashtag Lifestyles and Sneakers in your IG handle. And of course, follow us on all our social media accounts. This giveaway will only last until July 20. 
So please make sure to participate and try to reach that goal so we can announce the lucky subscriber that will take home the Air Jordan 1 Define Couture. Guys, again, reminder, I'll be posting the mechanics on the description box down below. So please make sure to read carefully and follow the mechanics. And again, it's only going to be until July 20. So make sure you follow the mechanics soon. It's only going to be until June it's only going to be until July 20, so make sure to follow the mechanics soon. Like this video, and if you do, please press the thumbs up button down below. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please press the subscribe button. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Until next time.